And today we'll be continuing Mobile Suit Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket. And by the way, don't worry about the background. I just got done doing a Barbie movie review and haven't taken them down yet. Anyways, okay, so you guys told me that the Alex was indeed designed for Amaro. But for some reason he never gets it. Which I still don't understand why, because we know he never gets that thing. At least in... I mean, we never saw him, but maybe later in 0080 he gets it? I don't know. And also, Owl has not always just been strictly Zeon, like it kind of seems. It's just kind of like what I was saying where he came across Bernie and the Zaku. So, I mean, that's why he's like, whoa. And now he's like Zeon because he thinks they look cool. And that's like, so if, so kind of like what I was saying, the same thing could have happened, but with Christina. But it just so happened to be that he, you know, saw Bernie and that whole situation happened. And because of that, that's why he's so deep in Xeon currently so deep in Xeon currently so yeah all right all right I'm gonna start this in three two one whoa okay okay dude this was so epic immediately I think he died immediately honestly that that really actually surprised me that thing is so it's called like the Comfer or something too. It's like, wish I could read that. That's just crazy. The bullets shredded him so fast. Operation Rubicon. Look at this guy. Killing. What's the meaning of <gasps> They're gonna launch a missile? Wow. Damn it, are you planning to break the treaty? Are you aware Site 6 is not a signing member of the Antarctic Treaty? That isn't the point, Killy. Furthermore, if Killy? I in my actions are outside of your jurisdiction. I am the chief commander and I Wow! This is some guinea stuff. <sighs> okay. We're really about the launch missiles. Dude, that's so cool. Look at the trees. I love that when it shows, like, comparison of size. Rest. Oh! Oh my gosh. That was, like, creepy gory. That was, like, super detailed. That was weird. Two surviving Xeon soldiers left this area. We need to find them. We're wondering if you could two might help us, Miss McKenzie. He's not dead? Actually, three Zaku soldiers. Can't forget Owl. We have information suggesting there was inside help on this attack. What do you think, Tempest? I'm afraid I have no comment, sir. This is getting us nowhere. Is that all, sir? They're making it seem like she might be they move again, more innocent people may die. He doesn't think she's in on it, does she? It's strange, don't you think? How the Xeon began attacking a neutral colony? Coincidentally, just after you people showed up. Amazing. Why do you suppose Really? I don't know, sir. Twelve It's December 29th? Bro. This is horrible. I can't believe it. I heard some surviving Zeeks got into the city. Zeeks. I haven't heard that in so long. Oh, holy moly. Dude, what is up with this show? Yeah, this is... How is this affecting Al, I wonder? He must be regretting everything. I don't know. I don't know yet. I mean, he's so young, you know? <gasps> Birdie! Where is he? Is he alive? Are you serious? Bernie, did we... Gundam, did we get it? I'm not, sir. Is he gonna... Oh, look, look at the wall. Is he gonna lie and say yes? We should destroy it. Come on, we've gotta try to get you out of here. Oh, that is so hype. 
That's awesome. Ernie, you're a terrible liar. <laughs> Captain? No. No. He's really dude, he was so cool. I can't believe Steiner's dead. Man. Everyone's dead. All dead. Use that passport, son, and escape now. Immediately. I thought I'd wait for the heat to die down a little first. No, no. You have to leave right away. I thought it'd be safer to wait a while. I know. But Can't you just wait two days till the war is over? What? Or what happens then, really? I, I, you know what I mean? Now, listen carefully. If the Gundam isn't destroyed by Christmas night, an entire fleet will come from Granada straight to this colony. They're going to destroy this whole place with nuclear missiles. What? I mean, how does he know that? I'm an old man, son. And you see, I have lived my whole life in this house. Wow. Please be just Al. I mean, it could be... Let's go. Oh, McDonald's. You were careful to watch your back. Mm -hmm. Are the police looking for me? Do you think Christina might have followed Al? That looks really good, actually. I'm so hungry. What's the matter? Man, it's finally getting out. Because they just get unlucky, okay? You could be a captain or a nobody. When your luck runs out, you die. Oh, I thought her someone walking war. around. Understand? Here. Man, I, I love this, guys. I have to get out of here. I have to leave this colony today. What did you say? No. Yeah. But why? There's that. What about the Fetty Mobile suit, Bernie? You're just giving up? Dude, Al is still in it. Let's go. We can still do it. What about everyone who died Let's go. In three days, if the Gundam isn't destroyed by Christmas night, a fleet will come in from Granada. They're going to nuke the entire colony. Do you have any idea what that means for all of you? No way. It's all right. All we have to do is destroy it by Christmas. I can't do that, you idiot. You can do it, Bernie. I know you can. No, I can't. There's <sighs> Maybe they could talk to Christina. You know? If we fix the Zaku, it'll work. If we fix it, then what? Are you gonna be the pilot? Uh huh? Exactly, Al. The truth is, I've never even shot down one mobile suit. So there. You said you only needed one more kill to He never did so. No. He never took out any I actually didn't know that. No! Oh, it's chipped. Look, you were wired, Al. We listened to everything you said because we were afraid that you would tell someone about us. I was never your friend. It was a lie. No! Why? Al, listen. If you want to stay alive, fine. Get off this colony. Oh my gosh. Dude. I've made up my mind and I'm running. Bernie, I hate you! <sighs> no, man. I, you think Chris... He's, he's back? Oh, wow. Oh, the other one, too. I'm gonna go straight to the police. And then they'd execute you, Al. You're an accomplice. Remember that. Yeah, is that, I mean, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I mean, he's so, he's so young, you know? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. The mo- Oh, wait! This might be why Amaro never gets it. Because they gotta blow it up. Oh, I thought that- I thought that- Well, like, what the heck is that thing? Dang. 
Dude, what is up with this? We just saw like 20 kids just... Bro. Wow, really? All right, it's kind of so suspicious. Okay, just suppose, just pretend that you knew a space fleet was coming to destroy the entire colony. What would you do? Oh my gosh. Well, I think I would fight, Al. Huh? You wouldn't run? No, I don't think that I would. Wouldn't you be scared? Of course I'd be scared. But I can handle being scared. That isn't the hard part. What I couldn't handle was being left alone. Left alone? Yes, if I lost my mom and dad and you and all my friends. If anything happened to all the people who were special to me. If they were killed and I was Guys. Them again, I could never live with myself if I ran away and left them. This is kind of like what I was saying. Are you saying she might work with Bernie to like destroy the Gundam? Bro, man, this is sad because <sighs> I don't know. Cause she seems to like Bernie. Oh, he is leaving. Please, someone's gonna have to stop him, right? Could Al maybe? Bro, really? That's kind of suspicious. He's gonna go to Francesca. Hey kid, where do you think you're going? Uh, Let me go. Where is everyone? Where's Jay and Coco? Oh, the obese kid? Idiot. Wow, really? Well, no school. I mean, that's cool. Let's go. Obese kid's not dead. Hey, you guys. Huh? Hey, it's Al. Where were you? You didn't come to school yesterday. You missed everything. Yeah. Oh, he didn't miss nothing. Mobile suit came and blew out the school. The whole place was blasted. How's everyone? Everyone? What are you talking about? That mobile suit dead during the night. Uh. Oh. What's wrong with you? I thought we still saw a dead kid, though. Oh wait, no, that must have just been a house. Okay. Okay, cool. Wow. What? Gunpowder smells good. There must be going so much going through Al's head right now. Knowing like the whole place is just gonna blow up. Man, I feel so bad for Al. He's too he's way too young for this. I'll tell the cops everything. They'll have to believe me. I don't care if they call me an accomplice. I can't let them destroy the colony. So Oh, okay. Oh, is this the same guy's last? Oh, no, they're just... Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, is he really just gone? Oh, you think he's gonna tell her? Oh, that's so cool, dude. Does she recognize? Wait. No, that is her, I think. Hello, sir. Oh, no, it's not. Wait. Looks like you could use a drink. What can I get? Why is she here? Is she leaving? With soda. Coming right up, sir. That's a good idea. I'll have a whiskey. Oh, I guess. Oh, great. He can drink, but I can't. Why? Because he's cute? 
Wow. Is that not Christina? I guess it's not. Okay. What the heck is Heights, boys? Okay, well, Heights looks like money still. He sees the badge from Al, though. You should absolutely get rid of that. You know what I mean? No! The opening theme's playing, boys. Dude, that drawing's so good. <laughs> no, I can't! Dude, it's so wholesome. Bernie and Al together, it's like the coolest duo ever. Is he changing his mind? Before we eat, I want to talk to you a little bit about your father. You're getting a divorce? Oh, no, dear. Your father will be coming home. When? Christmas Day. For how long? Forever. It's true. Your father and I have made up for good. What's wrong? You aren't happy about it? Oh, so they were like apart? Why not? All three of us will be together as a family again. Okay. I didn't even... Barney Stain! Al? Hmm? Telephone. It's someone named Bernie. Bernie! Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, I love Al so much. This is so cool. Hello, hello, are you there? Oh my god, I love Al so much, boys. Let's go. Dude, that's so cool. I've decided not to run. I'm going to try to go after it and bring down the Gundam. Will you help me out? Yeah. Oh, man. This is so awesome. Thanks a lot, Bernie. We can do it together. I just know we can. Sure. Sure we can. I love you, Bernie. Uh, goofy kid. No. <laughs> can I just go through a single mobile suit show without crying, boys? Oh my gosh, really? Boys, this is too wholesome, man. Oh, I was so, we got a single episode and I almost made it all the way through, boys. This is so whack. Guys, I'm just gonna say it. I don't know how it possibly is doing it. This might be my favorite Gundam show though. I don't, it's so short too, there's only, we got a single episode left, boys. It's just so wholesome. It's surprisingly gory. The story's fantastic. I love the characters. The action's epic. Dude, the character, dude, oh my gosh. I love this so much. The Owl and Bernie duo is so, dude, it's perfect. Man, this is... I, oh my gosh, guys. It's just so cool. Because Al, he totally axed his age. You know what I mean? He's not just like supposedly 9 or 10. But he's like... He acts like he's like 18 plus. No, he actually acts like the age it's supposed to be. I mean, it's just so good. He literally says he loves Bernie, boys. That Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Dude, I love this show so much. It's so good. I'm trying to hold it back, boys. It's the wholesomeness. Okay. Alright, so right off the bat, Operation Rubicon has failed. And Steiner is indeed dead. Man, that sucks. I really like Steiner. He's just dead. 
And I, it was kind of funny, but like sad, because he, he asked Bernie, did we take out the mobile suit? And Bernie's like, yeah. And Sire's like, you're a terrible liar. And then dies. It's kind of funny, but also sad. So I guess it's kind of cool in a weird way that he knew the truth before he died, but at the same time, I kind of wish he believed it. So he left the world happy. But I mean, it is what it is, I guess. It can still all go good if we can destroy this mobile suit. So... I was trying to think, I was like, okay, so this is obviously the reason why Amaru never gets the mobile suit. But the time, it is already, it's... I thought there was a sign that said 1229. It's the 26th of December, currently, right now. So, even with that being the case, we're less than a week away until the year's over. So, there would be no way Amaro can, like, you know what I mean? That would be too quick in time, I think, right? I guess. So, he still could get the mobile suit, but for that to happen, I don't know anything about Side 6, really. Either, okay, I mean, this is all that next episode, boys. Either we get nuked, everybody is dead. And then maybe that, we'll see. I don't know, because the ending of Mobile Suit OG, the narrator said it's the end of the war for now. But could the war or a new a new war be brought back because of the destruction and like the bomb going off of side six but this happened before the end of the war so it's like i don't you know i don't i don't really know so i'm not sure if a bomb's gonna go off next episode or not but what i'm thinking needs to happen al bernie and Christina need to all three work together to destroy the mobile suit. Which in a weird way is kind of funny because in the beginning that dude, I think that was like a cop or something or a reporter. I'm not sure who he was. It seemed like he was suspicious of Christina because once Christina arrived, all of this is going down. And obviously she's not part of it because, I mean, she's the one that destroyed the... I think, what's it called? Kim, Kim, Kimfer? It's like German or something, boys. Yeah, I think like the Kampfer, Kamp, the Kampfer, whatever. That thing, I mean, she destroyed it. So if she was working along with it, you know why? You would think she would let the mobile suit get destroyed, but she didn't. So it kind of doesn't work. His argument doesn't seem to fully work exactly. But at the same time, he in the end could be right if she ends up working with him. To destroy the mobile suit which is exactly kind of what he was saying but oh either way this show is gonna end terribly i think i mean how could this not end badly either a bomb goes off everyone dies or this does work but al christina and bernie all get executed because how are they going to possibly destroy the mobile suit and not get caught? Especially with high security currently going on after the attack that just happened of the failure of Operation Rubicon. So how can they possibly get away with this? Even if Al somehow, or even if Christina gets away with it somehow, and maybe Al, what about Bernie? The remaining member of the Cyclops team, he's just going to be executed. You know what I mean? Or maybe there might be like a moment or something where... Okay, these guys got crazy names. One guy's name is Killing? Killy? Killing, I think? And Von Helsing, I think. Those are some epic names. So they're gonna literally just nuke Side 6. A fleet from, Gr a fleet from Granada is just gonna literally nuke the whole colony, I guess. It, this thing must be soup. I mean, from the little amount of combat we actually seen it do, it is OP. Just its gun alone destroyed him. 
He died immediately from those bullets. Insane. But I mean, this thing literally must be big cheese if they're willing to nuke the entire colony to get rid of that mobile suit. And Al kind of surprised me. I was thinking after last episode, after him seeing all the carnage, and even in the beginning of this episode, seeing like a dead kid get pulled out, a bloody chair that Misha was in, and like a couple other dead bodies, I was thinking, okay, Al's gonna be like, yo, this is too much. Surprisingly though, it seems like he almost doubled down, really. I mean, he's aware now of kind of like death and all of that, but he's not backing down at all from it. I mean, dude, that, man, I, um, I, I love Al so much. Even after he finds out that he's been like chipped the whole time with like the microphone thing for like the, the badge. After all of that, he's still willing to destroy the mobile suit. Even, I know, I mean now especially because he knows the whole place is going to be nuked. But even before he knew that, he was still telling Bernie like not back out and give up. You know what I mean? Just so cool, dude. And I don't know if this is Cap. I can't tell which one's what because I was... I'm trying to think back. I guess I don't remember Bernie taking out anybody. I thought he did. But I guess he didn't, and apparently he's taken out nobody. He hasn't even taken out a single mo uh, mobile suit, not yet, apparently. He hasn't even taken out a single mobile suit, I guess. I thought, well, I mean, he said he was a one away from an ace, which I'm not sure what an ace is. Is ace, you need 20 or five, I'm not sure. And we got this whole, okay, the scene in the airport was kind of confusing, because she looked the redhead in the, I mean, we've only seen like one redhead in this entire, well, besides like the little girl, but it, I mean, it's pretty clear they're not the same, but that girl in the airport and Christina look awfully the same. I mean, their face looks a little different, but their hair is like kind of identical. So I was a little confused because I'm like, wait a second, is that her? Then I was like, is she leaving? Like what's going on? But no, it wasn't her. But dude, that was like a work of like, an angel or something like that was like divine intervention kind of he only went over there because he thought she was Christina and once and once he got there he heard the whole story that she was saying which made him decide to not leave side six because he was originally gonna go to Francesca I don't know what that place is but apparently it's terrible i guess according to the redhead lady I, it, I guess it's bad and a ticket to francesca is 520 heights it's, it's like physical currency i was thinking maybe something like digital something but no nah. okay and this is what was going on with the dad the whole situation it did seem a little funny because in episode two i think al brought like a a letter home to the mom from the dad i was like i was kind of confused on what's going on so that's why the dad is never home because they were like apart but i guess they are finally coming back together so that's cool but it all doesn't really matter if they're all gonna get nuked next episode so hopefully that doesn't happen um dude i can see why you guys from like since i was watching og mobile suit i would see comments every once in a while referring to this show in particular or how like great it is dude it's yeah it is epic and it's only six episodes long it's so good i just i love these characters man so good this guy this killing guy i think his name's killy killing whatever he reminds me a lot of Guineas. I mean, he's killing his own dudes, again, like Guineas. Yeah, this show, I mean, Mobile Suit in general really likes to make the Xeon side seem bad. I haven't seen any of these actions on the Fetty side. What's up with Xeons and bombs and killing their own <laughs> soldiers? I don't remember any Fetties doing any of that. Well, I mean, I guess besides MS team at the very end. 
when he was trying to kill Shiro. So, okay, I guess... Well, I mean, that's kind of different in a, a way. Like, these guys just got executed for, like... Because they didn't want to nuke a colony of innocent people. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am loving this, boys. And I'm sad that next episode is the last episode. Alright, I'm in here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.